watch it for a while, they're controlling your mind. So the New World Order, they want us to be um, cattle. They're actually Freemasons. They call us, they refer to us as cattle. It's this thing with the New World Order. Um, when it comes time to take the mark of the beast, that they, it's either you be obedient cattle or you will die. Are you with me? Amen? Uh, anybody got anything? Before we go any further. Alright. Here at verse 4, it says, And his tail drew the third part of the stars, now, it's talking about the fallen angels, uh, of heaven, and did cast them to the earth, and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered. Now, a lot of things are going on in this chapter. I mean, John, I mean, he's, it's, it's kind of a back and forth thing in here. It says, For to battle her child as soon as, it, as, soon as it was born. Okay, remember, uh, I'm going to say Herod, you know, killing. Remember, Jesus was born. It was, okay, so it's talking about. For to battle her child as soon as it was, was, it was born. All right, verse 5. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with rod of iron. And her child was called up, listen to this, her child was called up unto God and to his throne. Now let me jump over to Acts right quick. Uh, you don't have to turn there. You don't have to go there, just the person want to read. Anybody got anything while I'm doing this?
And that's why the Lord gave it to him so simple. He said, just write it, and then within this simple picture, we can break down the technicalities. Well, that's what I'm saying to me. Yeah. It's not just simple. You know, I first become a Christian, start studying, and you know, it took studying. You yeah, know, now this, after you break it down, it's not simple. You know, Daniel, you know, all kinds of books. Yeah, break it down is not simple, but for right. John, it had to be, he showed you, write it down, John, and you know, because uh, surely John had no idea what digital technology right. is. He wouldn't, you know, so that's why, because the Lord has shown me things, and I really mm -hmm. don't understand it. We live in a pretty advanced age, and the Lord is, you just got to take the Lord's word for it, or the word, you just got to take his word for it. You with me? That's <laughs> what I you, you know, John really, John didn't understand. Well, really, he did, because he said, comfort. And God was assuring him. He said, write this. He said, write this. He said, write this. This is faithful and it's true. Because he knew that John wouldn't understand what he was seeing himself. Right. Right. And even like vomit, that one person might be thinking he likes to see he vomited by the things he's done. It probably used the word vomit, I'm sure it did. John, it, it, he's seeing all this stuff in the war zone. He said, you know, it's he seeing it, didn't at one point even vomit to John? Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, that's true. John, you know, it was something how John received. And like I said, he didn't really didn't fully understand because God right. had this assuring. But he obeyed that. That's the that same way as we study. You know, we see things different. Right. But you know, when God opened the same speed, he said, well, this is right. This right. is the way it is. Now, Johnson was seeing a whole lot, and it's really in a short matter of time. And yeah. He all this going on in just a matter of time. Right. Don't and this is just one vision here. We just just think how much, you know, our minds can hold a cup in the whole world. Right. Right. And that's what John was. He was going around. Right. Imagine how he felt. You know, yeah. he, got, he got here, we got, he had to separate the past and the rest of the future. He had to separate all that, and his mind was going on. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, I, I'm going to get a little deep on you, okay, because uh, now in this time we're living in, there's things, like I said, people back then, who, who would have thought that that the Warren would have been a nuclear power plant? So, so let me get a little deep with you on, on right now, and, I, and what I'm about to mention, I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one to, to step in these waters, so I'm going to make that short. Um, a while back, uh, probably a few weeks ago, the Lord, he gave me a dream. And, uh, and, and my, it was me and my sister was up in the upper part of our yard, and we was in a pickup truck. I don't understand why my sister was there. I don't, I don't know why she was there. But uh, anyway, uh, I heard this, like a helicopter sound. And it sounded like far away, and it get closer and closer, really loud, okay? And, and it sort of took me back, uh, sort of how I think it was Elijah. Maybe one of them talked about sounding like all these chariots coming to battle. In, my, in modern day time, I compare it to a helicopter. So there's noise coming. So I'm looking out the truck window, and I can't see it. So, so I, open, I open the truck door, and I, and I get out, and I look to see what it was. And right in front of my face comes this, I'm going to call it a spacecraft. Because I, what I'm seeing, I really can't. I'm going to try to explain it the best I know how. And it comes right in front of my face, and it scared me. And it looked like a big TV. We're probably talking maybe this big. Something like this, and it was so close right there I could touch it. I couldn't see in the glass because it was uh, sort of like a real dark tinted glass, but a very high tech looking TV. Imagine somebody took a big screen TV and turned it into a spacecraft. That's pretty much what it looked like. It scared me, so I get back in the truck door. My sister wants to know what's going on. The Holy Ghost fell on me in this dream. Not only am I under the power of God in this dream and the Holy Ghost all over me, but in the physical, in my bed, I'm, I'm, in, I'm under the anointing. So this is how I know this is of God. And, and I didn't, I knew what was going on, but I did not have time to explain it to my sister. So to make it quick and simple for her, I said, we're under alien attack. Because I knew she would understand that, you know, uh, about what I seen. Because I didn't have a chance to go into deception and rapture and all this. I just made it simple, we're under alien attack. Because that's what I seen. And so, uh, and that was the dream. That The dream ended right there. And uh, anyway, uh, I begin to think more on this dream, and in and, and, and my mind, I begin to think about all the movies that are coming out just here recently. Okay, you got, I'm sure you guys are familiar with these ones, we'll call it. You got Monsters vs. Aliens, you've got Aliens in the Attic, Planet 51, you have this new V series, it's an alien TV show that comes on TV now. So, so what's happening? Now we know, let me read a scripture to you here in the Corinthians. Uh, let me, before we go any further into this, I hope I don't lose my train of thought, because I'm good for that. 